All right, thank you so much. The program still this morning on ITV, and uh, we're reaching you live directly from Benin City, the heartbeat of the nation, Edo State. And I told you that uh, Edo 2020 is so much around the corner. As a matter of fact, we have just about three more weeks to go, and it's going to be the 19th day of September 2020. And uh, it's also time for us as electorates out there, mm -hmm. and even for you as if you're out there, uh, to begin to listen to uh, the manifestos, the campaigns, as they make rounds, uh, you know, our uh, uh, wards, our local government, uh, you know, areas and even across the state. And also begin to look at uh, the projects and policies, uh, you know, that are on or the projects and policies that have been talked about by those that wish to come into uh, governance come August, come uh, September 2020. Well, to look at uh, the, prog the topic today, projects and uh, policies, implementation, impact on the Edo 2020, I have two uh, gentlemen here. Uh, first and foremost, it's a delight to specially uh, welcome Honorable Desmond Ubu, who uh, was a former vice, uh, can vice chairman of Igor Local Government uh, Council and also a one-time uh, chairman of Igor Local Government Council. Honorable, you're welcome to this program. Thank you very much for Thank you. Yeah, and also I have a big brother friend, Mr. Isaac Amurie, a senior special assistant, public affairs to uh, the state government, office of uh, the senior uh, advi the, uh, special advisor on information and communication strategy at the state government house. Mr. Isaac, you're welcome to the program. Yeah, on ITV. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a conversation today. So not a contest, <laughs> not a debate, it's a conversation uh, so that we begin to let Edo people out there know how the political parties are faring in their campaigns and how they will fare uh, when they win the election. Now, gentlemen, you're welcome one more time. Now, I, I, as we, uh, you know, form the foundation for the discussion today, I will come to uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Desmond, what role do you think uh, policies and projects uh, so far uh, will play in Edo 2020 election? Thank you very much. I think the essence of uh, any government is to bring about development. And before you talk about development, there has to be the formulation of formatting of uh, policies that will give birth to uh, projects that uh, is expected to be implemented as speedily as possible. And the uh, formulation of policies uh, has to be with taking the people into uh, consideration, taking the welfare, the security of lives and property, and indeed the well-being of the people into consideration so that you don't end up formulating policies that are outside the needs of the people. So in the build up to 2020 election, the government, uh, uh, the current government uh, must have done one or two things that it needed the people to vote him to complete. And that is the question who will ask. From all that they have told us prior to the 2016 election, has there been any completion of such uh, uh, projects? or how the policies so far formulated has affected the people over these years. Has it affected them positively? Or have they been asked to wait endlessly for the implementation, the full implementation of such uh, policies? Have the government been sincere in implementing such uh, programs? Has the policies so far formulated affected the people positively? And how sincere is the government in implementing those policies. All these are questions that the electorate need to inform their, their voting consciousness. I think so far so well in Edo State, we have seen a government that has engaged the people by way of electionary promises when it came on board in 2016. And the first 100 days in office, he has promised the people that he is going to hit the ground running and that he's going to implement a program, he's going to formulate policies that will affect their lives, and here we are, the fourth year. Some of those programs, some of those policies has not yielded the needed uh, uh, 
results okay i'll pursue the, the, so, the government all right and the people. all right i'll pursue the uh, let me come to isaac amore now now uh, we're talking about how projects and policies uh, will impact on edu 2020 and of course uh, based on some things that he said he's of the opinion that uh, projects and policies so far have not uh, necessarily impacted on the people. I don't know if you share that same view uh, too. Yes, uh, well, um, before I answer that, um, please allow me to salute um, uh, millions of supporters across the state because after a successful campaign rally, a re election rally in the Edo North and Edo South, mm. the coast is actually getting clearer mm. by the day. But, but let's so that, back that, to yeah. your question. Um, you said programs and policies. I mean, like you said, the essence of governance is actually to create the largest number, if you like, or degree of happiness for the largest number of people. That has been the driving force of the governor, Godwin Obaseki led administration. On project, I mean, these are our, our star projects, the refinery, the Osiomo power plant, we know that you can't talk about development. You cannot even contemplate development if you do not have support infrastructure like electricity. The only reason that we are still a third world country is because we don't have electricity. You can't produce, you can't compete, you know, with products that are manufactured in other countries where they have electricity. So the government has identified early enough that we need electricity to drive the Edo State economy. Then the government also identified the role of a port, a seaport, and of course, the um, Osiomo the power plant. So, so that when we produce, we also have the facility to evacuate our produce to the international market. Because the world is already a global village, so we must take advantage of all the opportunities that are bound in that international market. Mm. So the only way you can do that is to open up your economy to the globe. Lagos is Lagos today because there is a seaport in Lagos. So you can't even think of it. You can't think of you know, uh, removing your people from poverty if you do not have these support structures. So he talked about implementation. And we say that is the more reason we need another term. Because if you look at these projects that I have mentioned, they require quality time. The governor has just done three years and about eight months. We are talking about the Osiomo power plant. We are talking about the refinery. We are talking about um, uh, the Edo port in Gilegile. So we need time. Okay. Now, let me further uh, uh, intimate our viewers out there that Honorable Desmond Ubo is a member of uh, the APC campaign uh, organization in Edo State, just as we have uh, Mr. Isaac Amuri as a member of the PDP campaign organization in Edo State. So I need to uh, state that so that uh, we just carry our viewers along oh, properly. Yes. Now, Honorable Desmond, let me come to you now. Uh, we, we're talking about projects, uh, policies, and all that. Now, uh, if you look at, uh, beautiful enough in this election, uh, the manifestos of uh, the major political parties, the PDP and the APC, it's in the public uh, glare, it's yeah. in the public domain. We see them and all that. Now, uh, do you think that these manifestos, uh, these programs and policies contained uh, in these manifestos, can they stand the global uh, trend of things, uh, the way things are moving now, the way things should be? Do you think so? Thank you very much. You see, it is very clear, it's even by Blicker, that when the people lack vision, they will perish. I think the advent of this current government define a government that does not have a clear court vision. The reason being that he did not con con uh, campaign with any blueprint in terms of manifesto. He did not even promise the people rather than asking them to vote that is going to continue on the good governance of the Adgon government under Adam Sochomole. Yeah, were you a member of that campaign uh, organization? I was. I'm a founding member of APC right from ACD, AC, ACN and now APC. So you guys didn't campaign so with the manifesto as a then? The manifesto was continuity of the good works of Adam Sochomole. 
You know, we have a lot of good works that Oshomole did. If you take a ride from Ugoro Lagos Road, for example, starting from Unibank to Eda New Bini, or you take it to Ted or Sapley Road at the end of the bypass, you would deduce and agree with me that the visibility of Oshomole's works are there. And since the, the advent of this government, nothing has been added to that to suggest that there was a continuity in such government. Take, for example, the Adolo Road that was embarked upon by uh, uh, Oshomole to even bust out through uh, Uwelu community down to Siloko Road. As I speak with you, the way, and, uh, the way Oshomole left it is still like that. The Bini, storm, uh, water, the Bini Water Storm Project, which was a very big relief to the flooding menace in the Bini City Center, is yet to be completed. One begins to ask this question, where is this continuity that was preached to Edo people that even saw to the emergence of this current government in power? And now we begin to talk about policies of assault. We begin to talk about a situation where there is a sharp deviation from what he promised Edo people and what we are seeing on ground. My brother just talked about electricity, the Oceomo electricity. The beginning of that, con that project, Edo people were told that Oceomo power ele electricity will serve major government institutions. The House of Assembly was mentioned, the government house was mentioned, the uh, Palm House, the uh, State Secretary were mentioned. It was not meant to take care of the 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 Bini masses. Yeah, but it was not for the public consumption. It yeah. was for government institution cons consumption. He can go back to his archive and records, and that is what we told the other people yeah. at the advent of that project. And I also talk about refinery. Only recently, on the fifth, on the fourth of uh, this month, to be specific, the federal government came to to inspect that uh, that uh, project. Behold, that that project is a combination of both a uh, state and federal government uh, uh, project. And uh, a do state government donated 700 million in support and the donation of provision of lands for that uh, uh, project. And that project is still ongoing. But what are, what are the, 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 the zeal that the government has put in place to ensure that that project is completed? Okay. And it should also be told to tell the public when the, the project started and what would have stalled the project. That, is, uh, that prevent you from uh, clamancing or getting to, the, uh, to completion. Mm. You also talk about port authority. Now, at the beginning, he told the people that the creation of a port in Benin, the Gelegele Seaport, no doubt will create a lot of business opportunity. It will open a lot of areas in that place. Do you know that I even went to buy one, one by two around, around the uh, Kenwa Road? We the believe that once this thing is open, that will have a, a very business community that will make uh, a people and uh, employment to thrive. Yeah, As but I speak it, with you, if you can buy you one, can one attest, <laughs> yeah, you can attest one. to the fact that that Ekenwa Road is in shambles. Mm. Okay, the now, construction is in shambles. That is that give back to the, the the question: What is the impact of this implementation of projects? in this 20 Okay, let, let me pause you there now. Uh, just on the lighter side, if you can buy one by two at this time and nobody is harassing you. <laughs> uh, Not now. <laughs> I know what I pay. Okay. Not now. Right, buy that, 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 that's, that, that's just on the wayside, on the lighter side anyway. Now, uh, 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 Isaac Aymeri, now he talked about the Osiomo power plant and which I have personally seen that it seems to be a stronghold of the PDP uh, campaign uh, metric. Now, and he has also mentioned that uh, from the look of things that uh, that Osiyama power plant is going to uh, benefit, uh, you know, government institutions and all that, not the commoners. How true is that? Well, um, it is very wrong. Um, before I come to that, I want to correct the impression you gave earlier mm -hmm. that uh, since the beginning of this administration, Governor Baseki has not added one kilometer to the roads he inherited. The dualization of TV road is just there for everybody to see. So you cannot see that and say that it doesn't exist, for example. You have the dualization of Hackman Road. You have Lucky Way. I mean, the, we have a long list. But you know the good thing. What about the dualization people, of Ekewan Road? Because that's where I stay. And, it's uh, an ongoing project. Okay, it's, it's an actually, ongoing. It's actually an integral part 
of the seaport project. Mm. Okay? Mm. So, I think some of us have come to the conclusion that APC is playing the ostrich. They see a fact, they hide their head. And pretend as if it doesn't, it doesn't exist. The power plant, like you ask, the initial capacity is 55 megawatts. It has the power to take as much as 75 megawatts. The tubes are just there. So for the first 55 megawatts, we're going to connect government facilities and street lights. Then from there, uh, housing estates, companies, you know, will buy into it. So what that means is that by the time you disconnect government facilities, for example, from BEDC facilities, then BEDC will have more than what they have now to, to distribute to Edo people. That is how it works. So I, I think um, the, the APC doesn't just understand how business works. So they need some schooling, you know, they need some education. Okay? So it is a lie to say that the governor has not done rules, has not done this, has not done that. Then, uh, well, um, I must acknowledge the fact that he, he mentioned that uh, the state government is a part owner of the, um, the refinery. Mm. Okay? Because before now, what we're hearing from them was that the refinery is a federal government project. Now we have pictures here. These are photographs of the governor when he went to, when he went to China. In fact, when we started this project, they were calling us MOU government. Okay? But now, the narrative has changed because there is, you know, a refinery there. Okay. It's now, interesting to also know that the ESOPADEC has a stake, a huge stake, in that facility. So, everybody agrees that the governor is, is a financial expert. Okay. Now, let me quickly ask you the yeah. question I asked him a while ago, yeah. uh, you know, talking about uh, recent global trend, yeah. uh, because that seems to me be the major concern of the electorates. How yes. are your policies and programs that you intend to do yeah. if you are voted in the next four years, yeah. how they can uh, meet uh, the ongoing global trend? Fantastic question. You see, like, like, like I was saying, you cannot participate in global economy if you do not have electricity. In fact, what happens in Europe, by the time you are going to sleep in a place like Nigeria, for example, by 8 o'clock, okay, we have another set of people that will come to work by 8 and will work till the following morning because they have electricity. Okay? So, by the time we have electricity, we'll be able to achieve all that. So, even if we were having daytime energy, let's say from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., okay, then 8 p.m. were in darkness. The people we are competing with, okay, they have a night economy. They can produce, they can distribute, they can ship to any part of the world. That's what happens in China. That's why China is what it is today. So if we are, if we, we're actually sincere, if we are ready to, 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 you know, to participate in global development, we must, we must you know, um, you know, do away with some attitudes, with some behaviors, okay? Mm -hmm. So we must do business as business, not as, um, uh, you know, the way we used to do it. Okay. okay. Now, all right, now, Honorable Desmond, uh, let's, uh, now, you, you the, the APC talks about uh, MOU and all that, <laughs> you know. Um, somebody asked the question, mm -hmm. can we really have achievements? Can we have implementation of policies and, uh, you know, good gov governance and all that without entering an MOU with organizations and investors? Is that possible? Is that what people want to do when you come into government? Listen, the, 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 the essence of MOU, yes, is to bring about understanding, a clear-cut understanding of how the pro uh, project will be implemented then give all the indices, the host communities, the government uh, aspect of it, and the, the investors, what and what role individual will play to see to the realization of such a, a project. The kind of MOU we have seen in the state is unrealistic. How exactly do you mean? And over 3,000 MOU have been signed. What is the end product of such MOU? in real term, that has been the problem with this government. It talks about schooling the APC for a program that is being handled by Yahoo Yahoo set of people. What I mean is that, is that, I take a to that? that is the reason why you see most of their unrealistic works are on social media, and you can't find that in, in physical uh, uh, reality. And that 
has become the problem with the masses. Majority of the people who are crying that what Obaseki has done is an exercise of utility are those that are really on ground. They have attested to the physical reality that nothing much has been done to warrant his second term re-election. Now, he talked about a Sopate having a stake in the, in the uh, refinery. That is just the stake of a those two government that I mentioned. It is true a Sopate that 700 million were donated in support of that refinery. And he also mentioned, uh, thank God he alluded to the fact that most of the if, if, if infrastructures he mentioned, those institutions he mentioned, are government-owned institutions. And he also alluded to the fact that until government uh, house, uh, government institutions are disconnected before the people can have a feel of what he's preaching. But let me tell you this. If a state government is preaching electricity for all in this manner, in such a manner that to, to hoodwink the people, to cajole the people, and deceive the people, what will be of the federal government whose responsibility it is to provide electricity for the people? Now, the refinery he mentioned is not only in a state. Are you trying to say that it's wrong for a state government to want it's to provide? It's not possible. It's not possible for it, a state government to, provi to provide electricity for the state. It has never been done in, in this country. Not even the federal government has done that. Yeah, but we have some other states. It's, it, we understand that it's happening in Lagos. It's happening in your states, whereby there seems to be a partnership between the state government Let me and tell the federal you this. grid. Let me tell you this. You see, when you talk about Lagos State, and you talk about uh, Oyo uh, State. State, all these are states, Oyo State, Lagos State, Ondo and Ogun, you know, they, they are in the same houses. And this, is, this has been a government that has concerted the effort to ensure it, that they, 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 they collaborate with the federal government and indeed private individuals. Yeah, but it started from so, somewhere. Let me tell you this. Yeah. For a government to begin to preach that they can provide light for the people within a short space of time without continuity from one government to another, that is where the disconnect comes in. I just told you that there was a disconnect from what Adam Sochomle did as a governor for eight years and that the government has derailed. There was a lot of policies of assault by way of suddenly just change their own narrative to what has been done and giving it a new uh, description. And yet we are not seeing what they are preaching. All they are saying is just on social media and nothing to show for it. So we cannot continue in government of rhetorics. We cannot continue in government of deception. We are talking about a government that is coming with a clear court manifesto where you can even try uh, track him on what he has promised the people. Or like what he has done, nothing to track him on. Just like as the government of the day is promising that he's going to make a do state great again. Yes, he has accepted that he has killed a do beyond redemption. That is why he is now waking up from slumber to promise a do people that he's going to make it great again. No, but let, Who killed a do? Who did to bless a do? Before he's not asking. After four yeah, years down Desmond. the drain, Honourable nothing Desmond. substantial, yeah, I think meaningful I, to show for uh, yeah, what he has done for But I people. need you to take something now. You said the governor waking from slumber. That was a bit. That is the government. Hey, okay. I'm referring to government. All right, but, but even at even that, don't you think, don't you think that's... I'm even, I'm even part of the government. Okay, so you are waking from slumber too? Yes. <laughs> Ask him to wake from the slumber. That he has not done well at Benicio. He wants to promise Edo people that he wants to make Edo great again. What, I don't know, what a kind of a confused slogan and manifesto. All right, now, uh, Isaac, I, I want you to uh, contribute more on uh, the issue of continuity because he talked about yeah, it yeah, when he was clear, talking about uh, the power things. issue. Yes, I need to clear a few things. Yeah, but just then, uh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. then, Isaac, like, like I need I, to ask the question yeah, like so said, that uh, Isaac, Isaac, I need to ask the question. Now, yeah. he talked about uh, continuity, yeah. and I think he said that um, uh, for, if I get out what he said correctly, that for there to be a reality, in the issue of power, there has to be a continuity. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah. And of course, he said that one of his major, uh, uh, what he don't like, doesn't like about the PDP government is that there's a discontinue from the Oshomon-led administration. And of course, we have your government that is talking about continuity yeah. in terms Please, of providing can I, can I, can basic I, can amenities. I, can I draw a line, okay? Uh, yeah. We are a PDP government. So we cannot continue with any APC government led by Adam Sochomole. 
Please let us draw that line. Didn't join PDP. Let us draw that line. However, didn't please, join I wish PDP. to take exception, mm. you know, to the statement he made earlier that, uh, you know, the Obasaki led government is a Yahoo Yahoo government. Please, that's a foul language. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't say that on there. Yeah, but that was his own however, opinion. So you however, also have the right however, to react. However, however, mm. I insist that yeah. the APC need to be schooled on how you can develop states. The power sector has since been deregulated. There is no state government in Nigeria today that is producing power and supplying people power. No state government. Please, if you don't know, go and read your books. The power sector has since been deregulated. That is why we have Bini Electricity Distribution Company. All right, so what you are saying is that when your own power project comes to bear, yes. you are not going to be servicing the Edo people. That is, is that what you are saying? No, no, no. That is where the partnership comes in. Okay. You understand? Mm. That's where the partner, because we are not going to drive BEDC from Bini, for example. They have a license. They actually have a land space, according to law, that they must function in. That has not been changed. So how do you intend to function? Fantastic. You, you generate... Fantastic. You ask a fantastic question. You, 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 you do go into partnership okay. with private sector players, okay? Mm. Then they give you electricity, you make your contributions, whether through land, whether through capital or seed funding or debenture trust or something. Then, you know, they give you light. For example, like, like you say, I alluded to earlier, government facilities, street lights and all of those. Government is going to be paying for that. You understand? Then private estates, uh, businesses, industrial hubs and all that. They are going to connect. All right, they so are you, you, are, you are agree that the lights that will be generated will be more for government facilities? No, 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 no. So just let, let him, no, I need to clarify. Yeah. If yeah. you don't know, yeah. I will teach you. All right. That is it. Is so difficult. 75 megawatts, that is a lot. So it will take care of all of this. So BEDC, the problem with BEDC today is that, well, according to them, is that they do not uh, have sufficient power or they don't have the facilities but you don't work for whatever. bdc no, 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 no. so you can't <laughs> yeah, but i'll take uh, you, you don't work for bdc yes, so know, you can't yeah, sure, show so, that yeah so, okay fine no, right. so so so, that, that, so that, that's how it works mm. so nobody's going to give you free energy not even in the u.s i mean we have people abroad ask them do you get electricity without paying for it even in socialist or communist economies do you get electricity without paying for it are people are ready to pay but affordable, I mean, compared to going to buy petrol or diesel to buy your generator, for example. Okay? So you're going to have a, So what, what this initiative will do is that it's going to create competition, which BEDC never had, for example. You understand? Because by the time you have Osiomo, uh, you know, companies, in fact, as we speak, I hear that some commitments are already being made, you know, for people, to, you know, to tie them to this company so that when Osiomo comes on strength, mm. Okay, they know that their market is secure. Okay, I know that Honorable okay. Desmond is itching to say something, yes. but quickly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isaac, let me come to you. No, 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 but now, a, 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 yeah, yeah. A, a quickly, in Continue. addition to yeah. that. Now, yeah. if you look at uh, the ongoing projects that yeah. uh, you guys have, yeah. uh, the ongoing roads, construction, and all that, yeah. it seems to be uh, a kind of a stoppage, if I use my word correctly now. Yes. Now, the question is are you guys overwhelmed yeah. by your own campaign? What, well, what is going well, on? When I came through, I had to quickly dash down to St. Savior to see somebody. You know, before I had to run that dash down here. Yeah. I saw work is in progress in some of the, you know, some of the projects. Okay. Okay? Aha. So I don't know what, what they mean by work has stopped. How will work stop? This governor doesn't do any other thing but to work. That is him for those who work with him. They know him. He just works. Okay? Aha. So, however, the campaign also needs to be attended to. We can't, we, can't, we can't run away from that fact. Okay. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. So that is that. Then, then on, on project, I, I want, because your initial question, you talked about policies. Mm. It's not just about infrastructure. It's not just about hardware. Okay? Let's also, because essentially, governance, like we said earlier, is about the people. Okay, let me pause you. I'll pause yes. you there. Honorable yes. Desmond, quickly. Thank you very much. Yeah. You see, he talked about, he's been happy on Osiomo, Osiomo. He should remember that there was Azura power plant in Edo State before now. Nobody's mentioning it. And that is where the whole thing started from. We just mentioned that PDP cannot continue what Adap Sochomole APC government has uh, 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 started. When the question we asked the public, when did Obaseki left APC for PDP? Is it now or has it been with PDP since 2016 that makes him to abandon what has been done what he preached to the people that he's going to continue from where Oshomole stopped, that in itself, he has told the public lies. 
You know, their campaign of calumny, their campaign of deceit is in the public domain. People are getting to realize, they are getting to know that all that have been fed to them are all lies and deceit. It's just like when Kenneth Imaswagbo was on air recently on China. Now, let's find out we, we mentioned. The Kenneth, uh, Honorable Kenneth Imaswagbo is not here. So it's he's not here. He's but, on the uh, focus. But he's a on, member of PDP. Yeah, but he's on the How focus. How he fed the public with lies. Yeah, but he's on the focus. No, you can, you can say so. Words Honorable, are now, Honorable okay, okay, I will let, let you say that. Let, let, I will let, let you say let, that. Let, let he's let not here. He's not even in the focus of what we're saying. Let me let me deviate from that. All right. Now, the issue of project not being completed or that the ongoing construction has uh, stopped as a result of probably their palpable fear of defeat or rather <laughs> paucity of funds <laughs> because it has given much to the PDP to buy its way through. We saw at Kenwa Road, thank God from, we are from that Aziz. What is happening at Kenwa Road? Recall, sometimes last year, prior to the coming of Isaiah to APC, he deployed, he quickly deployed bulldozer to that road, telling the public because of the road construction that they cannot use Garrett Memorial for the defection uh, rally for uh, uh, APC. What has happened to that portion? Just that particular portion. Not to talk about the entire, entire length of a one road. It has stopped. Let's talk about te Texami Road. We didn't go as this year. What has happened to the evacuation of men and materials on that road? What has happened? Will it be attributable to paucity of fund or that he has used the money that was supposed to use for the construction of road for the procurement of Zimbabwe ticket in PDP? All these are certain questions we must ask ourselves. That things are happening, people are polishing it. You see something that is as glary as white as snow, and you are painting it to be black. It's a deception to the entire public, and we are aware, the public are aware of the manner. PDP government has deceived the people over the years, and the manner you people have imbibed lies and misleading and spreading of falsehood. Today, we are seeing the APC government in strong unity and in full force to reclaim the mandate that has been given to vultures and dogs. Today, we have seen the government of today not having enough messages to tell the people rather than asking them to vote for me i will do for you all right let, let we're me. not supposed to come from a government a city governor or somebody who is asking to occupy that all that right. seat all right thank you so much honorable desmond now uh, uh the viewers out there we have uh dumbas that uh, you can quickly react to uh, via sms or whatsapp uh, 0802465409 i forgot to let you know that at the beginning of the discussion but it's not too late now 0802465409 i repeat 0802465409 you can uh, quickly make your reactions uh, through that now honorable um i'm quick to say honorable desk but now uh, isaac i uh you heard what, what he talked about uh, procuring tickets to uh some pdp chief teams yeah. to make a trip to, Zim to zimbabwe he said so it's all falsehood. he said so it's then second then, then second nice. then, then secondly <laughs> secondly yeah. there's this uh, talks making around yeah. that uh, your own candidate yeah. the governor of the state yeah. is using state resources to fund his own his campaign is that correct i don't i don't even understand what that means you know parties parties are structured in a way that if I, the, the electoral law is there's even the provision for it okay. on how elections, how campaigns money should that be funded. Should, should yes. be spent so, on I mean, elections, let's not even go yeah. there. However, you talk about policies. Mm. I actually came here. Then what about the Zimbabwe like trip? I needed to react to that. He said, I know I've been a Zimbabwe trip. I don't, I don't even know what he's talking about. Okay. Or uh, was you there know, ever a time that some leaders in your party make a recent trip to Zimbabwe, like of I, which like the, the, like the, the governor sponsored? Like I said, I don't. I'm not privy to any such information. I would like, it, like you said, like I said, you said policies and programs. Mm. I'm saying this for the, uh, you know, for the benefit of our, our viewers who are at home. Okay, for policies, our my friend here cannot discountenance the fact that in the civil service we have witnessed huge reforms. Okay, yeah. within the civil service, and reforms actually is not just about. Uh, you know, building uh, structure, okay? We have been able to train a do civil servants. We have given them a befitting workspace where they can function optimally. 
We have also equipped them with modern day ICT tools with which they can do their job. Okay. Before now, if you went to any of the any of the ministries, you you will be heartbroken, you know, by the sight. Okay. So we didn't just do that in civil service. We came down to teachers. Okay. Ha. Everybody is aware of their do best program. Okay, we, we, because our understanding was that it is not just enough to have, you know, beautiful buildings. Okay, because if you, if you know what private education or private schools offer today, you know that we have a lot of work to do on our public, uh, you know, in, the, in our public education system. Mm. So we have done that. We have trained and retrained our teachers. We have equipped them with ICT tools. We have also promoted, you know, our, our civil servants. Many people who were stuck in one grade for so many years, they have been promoted. Pension contribution, for example. I mean, if nobody wants to acknowledge, if you don't even want to, let's, like I said earlier, you are playing the ostrich, you see the truth, you, you run away from it. Okay? But the pensioners, the thousands of adult pensioners who today do not have to go to Ring Road and wear uh, red, red, red on red or, uh, you know, black on black to demonstrate before they can get what is due them by law. These are our senior citizens. The governor came as the manager of, prudent manager of men and resources, that he is. He set aside 200 million naira every month to offset, you know, the pension. So are you going to tell me that that is also Yahoo Yahoo? Okay, so that is your opinion. Our elders at home do not believe that. Do not agree with that. It's on this basis that the all troop out come September 19th to vote for the governor. Of course, civil servants who, are, as we speak, have, have tested, you know, the good life of having your salary, your entitlements, get it to you without having to, 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 to fight or beg or go to a prophet or something for what is due you by right. As we speak, if your salary is regular, you can actually approach banks. You can approach, you know, other institutions for some credit to do projects. And the moment those people see your profile, Okay, your records in the bank, they know that every month, if you're a civil servant, you get your pay as I went due, and you, are, you still have like 15 or 20 years to go. They will extend credit facility to you to do your work. But there was a time in these states where people were working, three months they will not be paid. Mm. Okay? Two months they will not be paid. So all that has changed. So I think it has come to that point. Now, if, you, if your candidate wins the election, yes. which, will all this continue? Of because for, for some people, they see it as probably a bait you know, just to wound it. Uh, uh, no, so, no, so I'm the one asking the question. So we, we have been paying pension of 200 million naira since 2016 just because we want a second term. I mean, that is, that is, that is, that is, I mean, you, know, you, can't, you can't even think of that. So you are giving us the assurance that it will continue? We are here to serve Edo people. Okay. We are here to create the greatest degree of happiness for the greatest number of Edo people. All right, now. And we think it is that time, mm. you know, finally, for the APC candidate to make that call and say, Your Excellency, I have gone round. <laughs> Please, you know, just carry on. <laughs> it's the reality. Well, uh, because but the, the election that they, the the election that they do not grade, they do, they the yeah, road they did not grade yeah. between two, in fact, it's the left government, you know, in maybe 2007. It is now he's taking caterpillars to road to go and do some cosmetic, you know, now, work and all of that. That takes me to Excuse me. That takes me to I'll give you time to react to that. That is the highest form of deceit. Okay. I, you are done. You done. Yes, I'm All right. Okay. Now, Honorable Desmond, really, let's look at uh, some of uh, the, the projects sure. that your candidate is yes. doing uh, somewhere in Ego. Where yes, I want to be to be precise. You know, your candidate the is people grading. that we want to be are today happy that Pastor Saige Zeyamu has come to their rescue. Now, what do you think? What, what, does, he intend, what does he intend to achieve with that gesture? What does oh, he intend to achieve? Firstly, Why didn't you excuse me. Now? Firstly, you don't blame somebody who cook a padenyam that is not smooth. The person you should blame is the one who didn't cook at all. And that is where Obaseki has failed. And it is now that you want to... You that want in 2016, he yeah. promised the whole first 100 days in office. But again, we're talking about the state governor. The, the Please, governor. Like, yeah, yeah, we can't say Obaseki sorry, has sorry. failed. So the I state need governor has failed. Oh, oh, no. The state government has failed in that direction. <laughs> After promising the people yeah. of uh, Ewotubu that within 100 days in his office, that he will, he will grade and tie a way to be road. As we speak today, the businesses along that, that stretch is in comatose. The people have even relocated to other parts of the Benin where they feel that the, they can get a, a means of livelihood by way of uh, patronage. 
That is what Pastor Isaiah Yamu has come to do for the people of Ewotubu. And you can see the enthusiastic supporting uh, uh, residents of that area. Those people are now very much alive to their responsibility by way of going there on the 19th of September to go and vote for Pastor Isaiah Yamu. That when somebody promised, there is one thing about promise, there is another thing about fulfilling it. Somebody has promised you that he's going to tie that road even when he failed to complement the Benin City uh, water storm where it was designed that fraud. part, that part of it there. is going to have a tie road linking Ogida Barracks right from even uh, uh, Ewotubu community I mean, uh, uh, Uwelu community, Uwelu village. But he said a while to, ago that it's an ongoing project. Uh, and for how said. long will, it, will that uh, water storm continue? Water he just mentioned that it's, it's, it's a fraud. It's a fraud. And Obaseki was the head of a community and? who designed, who advised the government on how to channel that water away but from But your own party that started that project. That is and, and where your your problem yeah, your party told us that, yeah, your party told us that it's going to be achievable in 30 years. And we've just it's done a like continue, six... That is why I said there is a disconnect. Please tell me one water rail. project in the world that you do for 30 years. Just Excuse me. One. The Benin City, the Benin City uh, Centre, and indeed a uh, state at uh, 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 will not be easy for one to continue and complete a project within eight years. All right, Honorable, quickly, let's okay, take is, some SMS way, now because no, we are really pressed for time. About, uh, some of the about, SMS must be read. About, some of the WhatsApp messages uh, must you be read, that read uh, because we are pressed for time. Okay. Now, we've got uh, this one that says that, good morning, uh, Mr. Idehenjo, please, I want to say this. The present government has totally uh, discontinued the project Oshomole started uh, for he's not done by road with uh, drainage, walkways and street lights. This was not uh, Shomole told us when he was campaigning for him. Uh, this is one some reason we feel he has not done well as a governor and uh, he should uh, have continued with uh, the standard of Shomele. And of course that's that uh, quickly. Now let's quickly take another one from somebody that also uh, called uh, into uh, the program via uh, SMS. I'm really pressed for time. And this one says that good morning and uh, it's calling from Ekewan Road and you're saying that uh, the governor has done pretty well uh, for uh, the candidate uh, 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 Obaseki, he's going to take the vote. Well, that's your own opinion. There, just opinion. the way, just the, way he, the other man has yeah, his own course, opinion. So that's he, just he, it. He we'll, we'll take a short pause now. So we'll be right back after this time. Please stay tuned. TMI, every opinion counts. All right, uh, thank you so much. The program stay on here. So quickly, we'll just take uh, some of the SMS coming in. So while we do a quick wrap-up on the segment. And of course, we have this one that says that uh, Governor Basaki does not need a manifesto uh, because he's a manifestation of good works. Uh, I, want, I want to, if any of you want to employ a staff, will you manage your finance? Will you employ uh, the one that is corrupt uh, case? Well... I don't know what you are talking about. Please, let's be careful with the way we make our contributions and uh, as we get on on the program. And this one says that uh, uh, I am from Ewotubu. The grading of Upper Winner Road in Ewotubu was uh, disrupted by PDP thugs. That's the way you put it. And I wonder if that is true. And if that is true, why should it be done? Mm -hmm. And uh, we have this one uh, also that reads that, uh, let's see now, please, uh, the APC man should stop calling uh, human dogs. Uh, all right. Now, he's entitled to, to his own expression, uh, but I'm here to also uh, let him know how to express, uh, you know, what he says. So I'm not going to continue with that. Thank you so much. And I will have this one that says that, uh, uh, it says that, uh, I am Mr. Suleiman, sir. Please uh, let uh, the APC man know that uh, those are not voting party where uh, talk t talking of individual persons as I'm concerned. If this present uh, government join any party, I will vote him as I believe in his uh, government. And that's uh, your own opinion there. Now I've got uh, something from Airport Road. Uh, something from Airport Road. Good morning, Mr. Evans. Do not forget that uh, Mr. Kenneth Maswagmo said on channel uh, live on Sunday that uh, Mr. Gordon Obaseki has built a clinic in 192 wards in Edo State. Well, we are not talking about that, so we cannot join that as an issue here. So when we have time to talk about that, we, we talk about that. And of course, we've got this one at uh, Good Morning Obaseki Mega uh, Project Policy uh, there for everyone to see. APC should stop uh, meddling in propaganda. Uh, we in Edo State love Obaseki, Bruno, uh, Bruno Eve from Benin State. Well, thank you so much. That, those are some of the uh, SMS. Well, I've got so much of them, but I cannot continue because of time. Now, gentlemen, let's quickly do a wrap-up, Honorable Desmond. One well, minute uh, each. Uh, the issue of employment is just a uh, mission. Edo State has not employed a single person 
since the advent of uh, Obaseki's government. A visit to the ministry will tell you. Tango is talking about uh, pensioners and those who are being promoted. He never mentioned one. But he promised 200,000 jobs. When the governor came out on air recently, he said he has been able to employ 157,000 people. In their campaign jiggles, they are mentioning 130,000 people that have so far been employed. Who is now fully who? Okay. That is where it lies. Uh, All right, country. thank you. Now, uh, Isaac. Yes, um, well, just to clear the air on continuity, mm. those programs that are people oriented, that are directed at the people, we will continue. But we will not continue with a 30 year fraudulent um, water storm project. That is just by the wayside. Zimbabwe, you said, the last time I checked, we are not open to international flight yet. So I don't know how they got to Zimbabwe. I'm talking about Zimbabwe dollar worth of ticket in PDP. <laughs> not you, traveling to I'm Zimbabwe. I'm talking about you. No, he asked me. Get it clear. No, he asked me mm. whether we funded some the worthless ticket in PDP. So I don't know where they took to Zimbabwe. I don't even know what that means. You know. Uh, on the final note, um, those in Awotubu and other places, I don't know people can attest to the great work the governor is doing across the state. If you, the places we have not gotten to, yeah. we will be there. All right. That is the more reason you have to endorse us All right. on September 19th. All right, thank you so much. Well, so, so, uh, thank you so much. So can we get a touch? So please extend that touch down there. That is the way it should be. So after September 19th, all of us all, uh, we're going to live together as adult people. So that's the reason why that we must also let tempers uh, be very, very reduced as we make preparations for uh, the election. A very big thank you, gentlemen, thank you for finding time to come. Well, we'll take a short pause now for other segments of the program. Please stay tuned.